I want to say it was unbelievable, but at this point, you know, <laughs> any and everything is possible. Anything and everything is possible. Before Diddy even has a chance to see the inside of a jail cell, rumors are swirling that he's set to take down others with him. And guess who's at the top of the list? The Kardashians. There's even talk. And while there's nothing criminal in having fun with your celebrity friends, it seems like Kim's ex-husband West might be ready to spill the beans about the real pastime that Kim has enjoyed while being at Diddy's. And while it may come in shocking for many fans, West is confident that among the footage that the Fed seized at the Music Mogul's mansion during the raids was the intimate video of Kim and Diddy. Which is another level when it's like, okay, well, this is what my wife is doing. And Just when you think it's nothing more than another sad attempt of West to get the attention, one day before the raid, Kim Kardashian unfollowed Diddy on Instagram. Now, that's suspicious. She had plenty of chances to distance herself from him since the day Cassie filed her lawsuit. But according to many fans, her desire to wait until the end smelled good. When it comes to shady dealings and connections, Kim has no rivals in the industry. Her questionable ties to known as the devil business manager by many in the industry, this lady has a personal score to settle with Britney Spears, according to Britney's memoir. Lou was right there in the thick of it when her conservatorship was implemented, allegedly orchestrating the whole thing. People around her, no one feels safe around her, no one can control her, she's out of control. When it comes to shady dealings, Lou Taylor takes the cake. Britney Spears spilled the tea in her memoir, revealing how Taylor used her name and hard work to build her empire. My father had struck up a very close friendship with Louise Lou Taylor, who he worshipped. She was front and center during the implementation of the conservatorship that would later allow them to control and take over my career. Another victim of this lady, Courtney Love, also came forward in 2019, accusing Taylor of trying to pull the same stunt on her. She shared photos of herself in a robe, hinting at Taylor's shady schemes. When asked about it, Love didn't hold back, confirming that Taylor indeed tried to control her life and finances. Well, sounds like the right person to make business with the Kardashians. I think it's good if you set goals for yourself and when you achieve them, there's nothing better than that feeling. And speaking of this famous con, their ties to Taylor run deep. Public filings from 2020 revealed Taylor's involvement with several Kardashian companies, including Kylie Cosmetics and KQ Beauty. The family's business dealings with Lou continue to this day. In February 2023, she helped Kim Kardashian secure a 70.4 million mansion in Malibu, with Kim being given a 48.7 million loan through a trust associated with TriStar. A month later, Khloe Kardashian took out a 7 million loan supplied by TriStar for her own home. In April, The Sun reported that Kylie Jenner had taken out a 7.5 million mortgage via TriStar while purchasing a 36.5 million Homeby Hills mansions, which raised many eyebrows. Chernobyl, right? We don't have uh, the concrete and answers, but we have full authority to ask questions. With Taylor's track record, it's no wonder the Kardashians would want her in their corner. But here's the thing. This lady allegedly has close ties to Diddy, and there's certainly more than a business manager that they share. While Kim tried to hide all the connections to the disgraced music mogul, it seems like her ex will never let her off the hook. In the past, West was a part of that industry. Now, Kim is trying to hide from a scandal, but she doesn't know how persistent her ex-husband can be. He throws shade at her, hinting at a closer relationship between the reality star and the music mogul, and fans can't help but connect the dots. As one person, that's when you think about this, no one in the entertainment world is eager to support the disgraced king of hip-hop. One by one, all of his pals and partygoers are distancing themselves in order not to expose their partaking in the music mogul's alleged crimes. And I think this is sending a message to potential witnesses that they better cooperate now or it's going to get dangerous. What started as a civil lawsuit filed by Cassie turned into a real investigation of the criminal activities and a nightmare for the entire hip hop industry. The latest lawsuit filed by music producer Rodney Jones against Diddy Kim's name wasn't mentioned in the lawsuit, but it may mean only one thing. Her family has a smart strategy of doing the shady stuff behind the scenes, not being directly connected to the illegal stuff. If you ask me, that's kind of impressive for the family whose lives are out in the open 24 seven. Time, because they grew up on the show, whether they wanted to or not. You know, they were born into it, yeah. like the Truman Show. And the Kardashian connections to Diddy don't end there. Corey Gamble, Chris's boyfriend, is also in the mix. The story of Corey Gamble and the Kardashians began at a party in 2014. Their romance blossomed, and Corey made his debut on Keeping Up with the Kardashians in 2015, solidifying their relationship. The man even made it to Diddy's party as well. But if you think of Corey as an innocent outsider, here's what the internet detectives have uncovered. This man's connection to the music mogul goes deeper than meets the eye. Fans uncovered pictures of Corey at Kim even present when the coroners arrived after the 911 call. Corey's close relationship with Kim Porter, coupled with his ties to Diddy, has raised eyebrows. <laughs> Some, some speculate that Corey could be more than just Chris's boyfriend. He could be a handler, someone celebrities call in times of crisis or need, just like Lou Taylor, 
And here's what West had said, further alleged that he has never met Gamble's family and that he is responsible for getting estranged wife Kim Kardashian linked with the liberals in a deep way. It's the chaos. Fans speculate about West's cryptic messages, thinking that the rapper tried to hint at something deeper. Initially dismissed as another rant, his comments are now seen in a completely another light. Apparently, the whole thing with kicking out West was a part of a big cover to continue the shady dealings with the industry's monsters. It's like, why y'all think y'all could play with me, see? Ever since the divorce from Kim, West couldn't miss a chance to spill the beans on how this family has treated him. While he has had his struggles, he remains the father of Kim's children, and he doesn't want them to follow the same path as their famous mom. Yet, the Kardashians with folks like Diddy, Lou Taylor, and Corey Gamble, all valuable assets to the family. Despite Diddy's apparent influence in the music world, his current fate doesn't seem to inspire Kim and her family members to keep this relationship going. No wonder that this is the right moment for West to be reaching his breaking point with the Kardashians, hinting at exposing his ex-wife, particularly her involvement in Diddy's escapades. You can say it out loud or my career would be over, I get kicked out of the black community. With him being on the brink of unveiling damning information about the Kardashians' alleged trips to Diddy's house for freak-offs, tensions are running high. Report him in freak-off activities. Now, with so many, many ties to the shady figures, it's clear that Kim may have something she doesn't want to circulate on the internet.